I just went to Hy-Vee, got a couple of things. Nothing really too, like, you know, different from what I normally get. These are kind of just like my staples. So I'll show you a couple of things. But then, while we were in the grocery store, we were kind of talking about the differences in our diet. And this has been something that's been asked on my channel time and time again. Like, how I cook for myself, but also cook for Austin when you have one couple that has two... I wouldn't say like drastically different goals, but like one person who does track their macros and one person who doesn't. So it's kind of like a little bit of navigating that you have to do when you're cooking for two people. I figured we would kind of do just like a little three minute Thursday video on like a couple's corner and kind of just talk about the differences in our diet and basically just like how I go from my meals to his meals and what I do differently. So first I'll just show you guys a couple of things that I got from the good old Hy-Vee, my coffee. Um, this is a perfect example. When you have somebody that doesn't really need to worry or concern themselves with macros and micros for the most part, although I do like to feed him nutritious foods, this is my pasta sauce and this is his pasta sauce. So I do have to get two different types of pasta sauce. Partially that is because of my stomach issues, but I just would prefer, prefer like a more, eh, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but like a whole or pasta sauce, if you will. Um, we got some egg whites, yellow gold potatoes. We're gonna do shrimp this week. It's been a while since I've done shrimp because the last time I had shrimp, I had food poisoning, but that was like over two years ago. So I need to get over my fear of shrimp. Got some lean burger meat. And of course, the one and only chicken thighs. As a side note, another commonly asked question is how I cook my chicken thighs. Go back into my videos and look for this title right here that is the how to make your food taste good with the seasonings. I show you exactly how I prepare my barbecue chicken thighs in the cast iron skillet and that is still the same way that I prepare them. So I know a lot of you guys ask me about that and that is one of my favorite dishes of all time to make uh, with a wrap or in a kale salad, both two of my favorites. Speaking of kale. I got some kale, broccoli florets, Austin's like favorite things ever. So he likes crispy truffle fries and then just a couple of other things. Like so this is for example like Austin loves chips so he does pop chips and well we both like pretzel buns let's be honest. Pretzel buns are the superior bun. Other type of bread that he really likes is Asiago cheese bread. So I think the biggest um, differences in between like my diet versus your diet is pretty much just quantity. So the biggest thing we'll just discuss to end this video is what to do when one person tracks their macros and when the other person does not. Do you find from your point of view that it's difficult or your eating has changed or is pretty much everything the same for you? Since you moved here? Yeah. Uh, it's way, way, way easier. Um, well, you know. 
for me, uh, a lot of my eating was instinctive um, in terms of whenever I would eat, I would eat based on what was around me or, you know, I had very little to no preparation. My body type, I can get away with eating um, some more processed foods and crappier foods as long as my quantities are are pretty darn big. Like I have to eat a lot. Like my body responds a lot better and I know this, like it's not like I'm, I just like processed foods, it's better, but like no. I know that my body responds a lot better to a greater quantity um, and I've actually found also, I think the big difference is I, I have toyed with like having six or eight meals a day. I've toyed with having two or three main meals a day and my body responds way better the way that I want it to look um, and perform and feel and whatnot off of like two to three meals a day that are pretty big. I mean, my, my two to three meals a day usually, one of those meals might be like, I don't know, 700 to 1,000 calories, but the other two usually are, I mean, 1,500 plus per meal. I would say the biggest tip in somebody from coming from my perspective where I pretty much do the prepping, that's just because of a schedule thing. I'm fortunate enough to not have to be at work all day long, so my work is literally in the kitchen. So what I do is prep our proteins in bulk and prep different sides in different um, vegetables and stuff. And I know you've seen me do this in Meal Prep Monday videos, but this is really beneficial to make alternative uh, alternative options. So for example, I always make a giant batch of chicken thighs, but then I'll have to buy extra bread or extra, you know, whatever size he's going to have with it. And that way he can have two chicken thigh sandwiches, whereas I'm going to have chicken thigh and kale or something like that. So you kind of have to think quantity wise, especially if you have a partner that's flexible and is willing to eat the foods that you're eating. But, um, I would just suggest prepping everything separately. That way you can grab and go for yourself and you can grab and go for the other person. It's a lot more difficult to make select meals like chicken thigh, broccoli, and potato because if I just fed him that, it might be a day where, for example, for him, since he doesn't track macros, he just might be hungrier and he wants two sandwiches instead of chicken thighs, broccoli, and potatoes. So it's kind of just like figuring out what the other person I guess eats more of and then kind of adjusting your own prepping um, from there. So that's the only thing people have been asking me that a lot, how it's been different. And it honestly hasn't been different for me because I just continue on with what I'm doing and then I just add extra stuff for him. Also like adding to that for you that I've seen is that because I know like my body type, the way I want it to look uh, for at least six to eight months out of the year, which is more of the winter time and whatnot, mm -hmm. like I want to have like a thicker build. Yeah. Um, like I almost always have some type of a dessert. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I think for you that puts you in a stickier position sometimes because of the fact that you're like, oh, that dessert looks. It looks great. Oh, and I'm always uh, always picking at it. Yeah. I'm always yeah. picking so, at your dessert. Uh, I think I make it a little harder for you from that standpoint. Yes, uh, that is that is difficult, especially if you have one partner who just eats whatever they want and the other person is like on a cut or something like that. It can definitely get uh, tempting, if you will. So it definitely just takes some practice because I'm not used to having like a bunch of chips or a bunch of Asiago bread. And not that I, it's bad, I just don't wouldn't right, have bought yeah. it, you know, if it wasn't for you. So just learning how to navigate it, but practice makes perfect as with everything. So we just kind of wanted to give you guys a little tip on how we handle it, but it really isn't like overwhelmingly difficult. So I'll be doing some more meal prep Monday videos in the future to show you how I prep actually in the kitchen for the two of us. So that's that. Thanks for watching. See you in my next one. <laughs>